kind of you kind of made it through through Lewiston as, as kind of one of the guys now. When you look back at the week, what, what do you think you were able to accomplish individually? Uh, I think um, I think it was a good week in Lewiston. Um, six days goes by pretty fast, um, especially when a couple years ago they were doing 14 days. Um, so this was this was a breeze. Um, I felt like personally. Um, did pretty well. I'm missing throws here and there that um, you know I can't miss, especially in a, um, a, a three-man race. But uh, I felt like I moved the ball well, and as a group, we uh, we definitely um, showed that we got some talent on offense. And I'm excited to see what's in store for the future. How is it dealing with competition like that, where there's not so much clarity at this point as to what's going to happen once kind of September rolls around, and just kind of having to put your head down day to day, uh, not ride the highs and lows too much, and, and just keep battling. Yeah, I think that we all just try to stay uh, the same person every day, like you said. Um, not ride the highs, not not go too low. Um, just be the same guy every day, and um, and for me, just um, lead the way that I can. And um, if it's a good play, awesome, high five everyone. Then it's the next one. So if it's a bad play, let's move on. And I think that um, we've all done a pretty good job of that. I think it's been a, a good week, and um, excited for the scrimmage tomorrow. Is there any aspect of your game that you're kind of leaning on throughout this competition that you're kind of hoping will maybe set you apart in the next week or so? Um, I don't know about aspect as far as playing, but I always try to make sure that uh, I always know what's going on. Um, really know our offense from top to bottom and then also know what the defense is kind of going to do um, just by watching film and going through my notebook and stuff like that. Uh, so I guess I guess that, just make sure I watch a lot of film and. Uh, you just know where to go to the ball at, at all times. You've had some hot days here out at Sacagawea. Have you had one quite like this before? Um, like ever or just here in Both, in uh, both, yeah. I don't know if it's ever been. The, today was pretty hot. Uh, yesterday, too, you kind of step off the bus and you're okay. You're like, oh, we can get through it. Then you put your shoulder pads on, you're like, whoa. Like, it's, uh, it was a little bit different, but I think the guys did a good job, um, especially, you know, running around. Day, day five, day six, day seven, legs start to get a little bit heavier, the grass and stuff like that. Um, but definitely excited to get back to Pullman and uh, continue to work there. One of the worst practice conditions you've personally experienced before? Uh, they are definitely be in Pullman. Um, I'm from Southern California, so the weather there is usually uh, pretty friendly, especially to a quarterback. But um, the worst conditions, it was like 35 degrees, really windy and really raining, and that was brutal. That was terrible. Uh, how excited are you just to get a crack at uh, going full speed for the most part tomorrow night? I'm excited. Uh, I think that all the guys will be excited. Um, it's a chance to kind of show what you got um, in a live setting with referees uh, and under the lights too. So it'll be uh, it'll be interesting to see who kind of rises up and um, plays well, and then who um, which guys make what plays. Um, so it's, it should be fun. Is there anything you're going to miss about Lewiston? I do. I mean. The field's a little rough, a little bumpy, but I think it's a it's a cool little venue to get away from. You know, it really makes you appreciate what you have when you go back to school. Um, just the locker room from everything, the locker rooms, um, our incredible staff, the great W, everybody um, that plays a role in making sure that um, you know the the train keeps going. Um, but I do I do like the field, like not maybe not so much the surface, but just the atmosphere is really cool. I know you usually have something to say as far as the ping pong tournament goes. Uh, who's had the upper hand this week? Is there a champion from, you know, Lewiston 2018? Yeah, I'm the champ. I'm not, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I'm not going to play it. I, uh, I, I like playing ping pong. Jack Crane's a really good player. He and I had some battles, but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that I took home that belt this week. Uh, obviously, there's always good, deep receiving groups here. What, what stands out to you about this collection? Um, they, can all, they can all make plays uh, all over the field, whether it's, you know, throwing short and then running long or them just taking the top off the coverage and going deep. Um, I think they all play the ball very well when it's in the air. I think that all of them have very good hands and um, guys are surprised. I think all the guys who have been in the offense before um, show they can play and the young guys also played really well this week. Um, so it's not just, you know, one or two guys that have shown, hey, you know, I can, I can step up, I'm ready to play. I think as a group, you know, we're three, four deep, um, even, even five in some cases. Um, and uh, the guys who just came in doing a really good job, and I'm excited to see what they do tomorrow and then throughout the rest of camp. That's good. Have you have you ever been a part of a three man competition that, that that's kind of lasted uh, this fall, this long into into the fall or yeah, <laughs> whether JC or high school? Or? Yeah, my junior college. There were four quarterbacks. It was me and three others, um, and we went. 
until game week, um, until they need a starter. So that was my only time that I've been in a three man race like this. So that's probably helped, huh? Experience? A, little, a little bit, but it's definitely a different situation playing here than it was at my JC.